But we will move on to focus our attention on the Div 1 final between Edinburgh and Peterborough later today. Scheduled for a 4 p.m. kickoff. This kickoff was slightly delayed due to the duration of the earlier games. So the Leicester Falcons getting ready to take the ball first. Seven aside football, as I said, she'll have a three-man, uh, three-woman line rather, with four skilled players. And the dreadnought defense will have to match up against them. There's full contact football, full kit. And I know we'll see some hard football being played having been a fan of uh, the women's game for some time so here we go we are underway in the third place playoff game Leicester Falcons with the ball Chloe Smith in at quarterback for Leicester handoff to number 11 to start that's a great defensive play in the backfield trying to get Laura Stevens going but no chance there for Sarah Jane Brain came in to make that first tackle so it's going to be second down The Dreadnoughts coming out on offense now. So the Dreadnoughts starting with the ball after that initial play from Leicester. First time we've seen their offense. Motion to the bottom of the screen and it will be handed. And that's a nice hit at the line of scrimmage. Two Leicester Falcons defenders there to take down. Stephanie Wyant on the run, trying to get that end around going. Second down now. Chance for the Dreadnoughts to cross midfield for the first down. Motion again. Hand off the other way this time and straight into the backfield for those Leicester Falcons defenders. First one there was Faye Doherty coming in from a cornerback position. So just following that motion and getting the tackle in the backfield was Faye. So both offenses struggling early to get anything going against these tough defensive units. Third down to try and get that ball to midfield for an extra set of downs. What can the Dreadnoughts do here? Motion again, this time, same play, handed off, and it's the same result. Tatenda Chinzamba coming in from a linebacker position to shut that one down. But there is a penalty on that play. So that was an offside on Tatanda. So they'll replay third down again, trying to get that ball to midfield for an extra set of downs. Iona Senna at quarterback for the Dreadnoughts. Takes the ball, here's that handoff. Got some room on that right-hand side. But the Falcons rally quickly. Wyant only able to pick up maybe five there, so it's gonna bring up fourth down. Trying to pick up those yards they need to get to midfield. 
low snap. And that's going to go down as a sack as they all rally to the ball. So Leicester Falcons defense on that early drive. Holding firm. Tatenda there as well as other green jerseys to drag Senate down. Referees just discussing the play here. There is a flag on the field, you'll see that just on the left of, of the camera position. Looks like it's going to go against the Falcons. And indeed it will. So, big penalty, Macy Ray playing defensive line gets called for a face mask penalty against Leicester. That's going to give the Dreadnoughts first down. So a break for the Dreadnoughts early. Senate takes the ball, pitches it back inside on a little shovel. But Becky Day from a linebacker spot makes the tackle to shut that one down. Maybe a gain of a couple. But this extra set of downs for the Dreadnoughts, a real bonus. Because they have now maybe six yards to get themselves a new set of downs. Two backs in the backfield now for the Dreadnoughts as the sirens sound. Nice, tough running, trying to push for that midfield line and very close will be Stephanie Wyant. See where the officials mark it. They're going to mark it a yard short, so third down for the Dreadnoughts. A determined drive this. Obviously that penalty gave them that extra set of downs which they've used to get them just one yard away now. Leicester Falcons crowding that line of scrimmage for women up on that line. And they're going to spin and move and dance and dart. It looks like the ball's come out. It was Heather McMahon who was running with the football. And Leicester ripped the ball away. And that'll be a forced fumble. And Leicester with the early defensive play to get that ball back just as McMahon looked like she'd got that first down the ball came out so a break for this women's green machine see Leicester the men's squad and the women's squad both doing well and Leicester women's football team have done well to get here in this third place game Lost that earlier game against Edinburgh, 25-12. But they'll want to make their mark here and pick up that third position spot in Div 1 as Smith hands it off now to Catriona Fryer, who manages to get back to the line of scrimmage. And picks up a little more as well three-yard game for her see four downs now essentially to get into that end zone second down oh balls on the ground and that's a dreadnought player quick reactions from Megan Thomas to be the first body on that ball. So two turnovers in the space of three plays in this women's Division One third place spot. And it will be the Dreadnoughts that take over.
Referees discussing where to place the ball, exactly where that ball was recovered. Great heads up play from Megan Thomas just to be first woman to dive on that ball. First down, cross midfield. So 35 yards to go to that end zone, 70 yard field. Four downs to go. And the Dreadnoughts have the ball back. Two backs in the backfield. They hand it to Sophie Hemmons. What a great play that looked to be. But we'll see whether that was a horse collar tackle. Dragged down by the defender with one arm. It may, in fact, be closer to a face mask. Two flags hit the field. And you can see the signal there on our camera. So it looks like it is going to be a face mask. So Macy Ray's had two face masks against her early on in this game, which has meant that uh, the Dreadnoughts have been given 30 yards of penalties. And it's going to set them up very close to that end zone now. 20 yards out, first down, the Dreadnoughts after that turnover. Ball about goes back, ball goes into the end zone, and there's your first score, and it's the Dreadnoughts on the board. Great over the catch, over the shoulder catch there from Stephanie Wyant that we saw running earlier. So Senate and Wyant link up for the first score of this game. Six nothing Dreadnoughts. Now, after the score, the Dreadnoughts have an opportunity to go for that extra point, which they're going to do from the five-yard line. So because they go from there, if they get this in, it's just uh, one extra point. QB is going to keep it herself. What room can she find? Uh, that's going to be short. Are they going to give it? Looked a little short, but they're going to give it to Senate. So tough running at the goal line, and Senate takes it in. So Dreadnought 7, Falcon 0 in this first half of football. If you're just joining us, you're watching the third place playoff in Division 1 of the National Women's Football League between Portsmouth and Leicester. And it's the Dreadnoughts with the early score on the back of a pass from Senate to Wyant. And they're seven nothing up. So Leicester Falcons. See what they can do. They've had a couple of possessions so far, but they turn the ball over. As Chloe Smith, QB for the Falcons, comes under centre. Oh, and movement there on the line, and here come the flags. Looks like the Dreadnoughts are quick to encroach on that one but we'll wait for the flag maybe a falcons player flinched so it is against the dreadnoughts and that'll march the falcons a little bit closer to that midfield point that they need to get to for a new set of downs two backs in the backfield now receiver up top those are the weapons Chloe has at her disposal. This will be a handoff, and again, what a great play in the backfield. Tough to block Sarah Jane Brain. She did exactly the same on the Leicester Falcons first drive. She's having a good game so far from her defensive line position. That'll take those penalty yards off the board and bring up second down. Two women line now for the Dreadnoughts. Motion, handoff. Nicely looking to creep behind her blockers is Catriona Fryer. Picking up 
five yards on that run. Bring up third down. It was 96, Charlotte Platt that had to come in and make the tackle to bring down Fryer on that previous play. Third down now, they need to get to the halfway point on this 70-yard field for a fresh set of downs. Empty backfield now for Chloe Smith. Two receivers at the top, she looks that way, then comes back to a single receiver. The ball is up, and that is picked. A dreadnought's defender right there to pick that one off. Megan Thomas, the right girl in the right place for that one. Ball sailed a little bit on Chloe as she let that one go. Chloe Smith, QB for the Falcons. And it's Megan Thomas excited to get another turnover for these dreadnoughts. So the defense playing well. One fumble recovery, one interception for this dreadnought defense. Making life very tough for this Falcons offense. So here come the Dreadnoughts with good field position. About 25 yards out from that end zone, maybe 23 yards to go for another score. Handoff this time, right hand side. There's some good running. Picks up a gain of about 12. He leads Curry into the game. Makes a nice play, does Curry off the right hand side. Some decent initial blocking and then just bursting through the gap that she saw. Just three yards out now from that end zone. Second and goal to go. Two backs in the backfield. Here come the Falcons. That's going the other way. It's right hand side, and she will tip in for the score. Elite Curry for the second score on the board for the Portsmouth Dreadnoughts. Stamping their authority on this game early. 13-0. Curry with a couple of great runs to push that one into the end zone. Off the back of that interception. They'll line up this time for the one point. Trying to get that extra point in the end zone. Back to pass, and that is caught. So everything going the Dreadnought's way this time. We'll just check for flags. Catherine Dale caught that one in the end zone. But there is a flag. OK, so this is a two-point try for Catherine Dale but she, illegal motion on that one so they'll try again to put those two points on the board marching them five yards back so 15 yards out now from the end zone trying that two-pointer again dreadnoughts 13 up can they convert here Quarterback drops back, same play, same result. Well, ball comes out at the end, but they're going to give it. Referee's arms aloft in the air. So Catherine Dale does convert for those additional two points. It's going to take the Dreadnoughts out to a 15-0 lead in this first half. Well, a great start for the Dreadnoughts and Leicester Falcons. They played some good defense early, but uh, 
on that drive, Elid Curry, the running back, with some really great running off that right-hand side of the Dreadnoughts offense. And the Leicester Falcons stunned early on, two scores down in this first half. The games earlier on, if you are just joining us, were Edinburgh 25, Leicester 12, and Peterborough 37, Portsmouth 28, which is why you're seeing Leicester against Portsmouth in this third place playoff. Falcons with the ball. Smith back to pass, goes to her right-hand side and caught. So the Falcons getting some yards on that one. Eilish Rolf, wide receiver for the Falcons, picking that one up. And that'll get him a little bit more confident. Chloe Smith with her first reception, first completion of the day. Second down with a manageable yardage to go to get to that halfway point. Falcons taking their time. Come out with two receivers set and a single back. Smith back to pass again, looks right and back to her right. Here comes the pressure, down she goes. Great pressure that time. And they've bought pressure all day. It was Sarah Jane Brain. She's been in on the quarterback three times already. They can't seem to contain her at that line of scrimmage. Just a ferocious effort. She came round that left hand side and beat her. She beat Macy Ray. Got to get the sack. Pushing that Falcons team back now on third down. Two backs in the backfield. Smith pitches this one. Looking for the edge, but it's not there. Guess who? Sarah Jane Brain. There she is again. They can't move her off that line of scrimmage, and whether it's pass or run, She's causing havoc in that backfield. Going to have to try something else. Try to double team her there and just no chance. So fourth down for the Falcons. See whether they go for it here to try and get to midfield. Two scores down. Timeout, Falcons. I'm going to have a think about this one. It is a critical one. If they don't convert here, Dreadnoughts would get the ball back in good position. It's been a great season for both of these teams, playing this seven versus seven format. Women do get a chance of playing in 11 versus 11 format. And the Super 11 series offers the female athletes the opportunity to play that more traditional version of the sport. And it's a testament to the Great Britain squad that uh, a lot of these athletes coming from that 7 versus 7 format, having to move up straight into 11 versus 11, did such a great job in the IFAF. Worlds that were played earlier this year in Finland. Just a, just over a month ago, it was August the 7th, when the GB women's team played the USA. Falcons fourth down. Here comes Big 55 off that edge, looking for that stiff arm. Rushed out of bounds is Emma Day. Sorry, Emma Taylor trying to find that edge. But again, good solid defense from the Dreadnoughts. So the Dreadnoughts will take over. 
from their own five yard line. The rules for this seven versus seven, very similar to flag. Pitch is a little wider to account for the fact that there's seven players on the field for both teams. But there's an exciting format here is the Dreadnoughts. Two scores up. This time, it's on the end around. And there's some room to that side. And oh, she nearly bust that up the sideline. Did Caitlin Sonka from her wide receiver position. Pick up of about 11, maybe 12. Second down. Looking for that midfield point. Nice blocking going in on that end around from this Dreadnoughts team. Getting that running game going now. Falcons just with that two-woman line. Shotgun, there's the snap. This time they'll go the other way. Left-hand side up the sideline. Defending a little bit better. Faye Doherty comes in from her cornerback position. To get Elid Curry, the scorer of the touchdown, out of bounds. They like those end around as they get some good movement, some good blocking from that offensive line, and they get that receiver cutting back to pick up another defender. This time they're going to go to the air. And that's a great play. <laughs> oh, and they're going to rule that incomplete, I think. Oh, did she make a football move? I'm not sure that she did. They're certainly going to rule it incomplete. Great pass by Senate, right on the money. Receiver just couldn't bring that one in. Just trying to turn up field a little early. It was a low snap. Senate handled it really well. And the lead Curry, who's run really well, but couldn't pull the pass in. Referee speaking to the dreadnoughts here. Flag on the field. We're well into this first half now. Just working out what they want to do with this call. Just waiting to hear from our referee on this critical down. Very nearly a really big pick up there from Curry. Hit that square in the hands. Right, so that's going to go against the dreadnoughts. I think the referee's just explaining the rule. Illegal blocker downfield, and they're counting a lead curry number 57 as that blocker. So she wasn't eligible to catch the ball. So they're going to march him back 10 yards, give him that third down again. Senna has shown she can get the ball downfield. She's shown some accuracy on the passes. Just need to cut down on those penalties. Motion this time. They'll hand off on that end around again. Nice cut back inside. Breaks through one tackle, breaks through two. And she will cross the midfield point. First down. Great running from Caitlin Sonka on that end around. Some good blocks going in and really quick feet from Sonka. First down across midfield for the Dreadnoughts with a two-score lead and looking dominant. Falcons need to tighten up on their defense. Just that two-woman line, two linebackers in behind. Sonka in motion again. 
This time I'll hand off to the running back up the middle and she bursts through for a pickup of four. That's Sophie Hammonds. So using Sonka as a distraction on that plate. And running Hammonds up the middle. Second down. time they're gonna bring in number 46 to be tight on that line of scrimmage Catherine Dale they're gonna hand the ball the other way though oh, that's a good tackle that's Emily Marsh Kirsty Jeeves just couldn't find the edge there Dreadnought's asking for a horse collar there. You can probably hear it on the audio, but the referee's not going to give that. Third down. Looked like a good tackle from Emily Marsh. Third down, trying to get it to that end zone for their third score. Handoff up the middle. That's a nice defensive play, but she's still chugging forwards. Picks up maybe two. Emma Taylor. Makes the tackle on that one. Bringing up fourth down. So maybe the Falcons can get the Dreadnoughts off the field. We have seen Senate throw the ball deep. She's got a good arm. Still in this first half. Two 20 minute halves. Clock continues to run throughout. Shotgun. They're going to pass. Play action. Senate goes deep and just a little bit too far for Caitlin Sonka. So the Falcons finally hold strong. And they will take over on their own five-yard line with their own set of four to get to midfield. Sonka unable to pull that one in. Got a great game coming up at four o'clock today between Edinburgh and Peterborough for the Div 1 final. We hope you join us for that one. You're watching the third-place playoff between Portsmouth and Leicester. And the Dreadnoughts from Portsmouth are in charge at the moment. Under centre. They hand it to their left-hand side. And again, it's really good defence. There's a flag on the field. Sarah Jane Brain. She is all over the Falcons. But there is a flag. Just playing that left defensive end position is brain. <laughs> so the penalty was on Tatenda Chinzamba. I think she's just trying to, she's just struggling against this tough defensive line of the Dreadnoughts, trying to do anything to give their running backs a, the chance. Sarah Jane Brain, number 83 for the Dreadnoughts. You'll see her at the top of your screen there in that three-point stance. Coming off that left defensive end. She's the one to watch. This time they pitch, try and get the ball away from her, but the result is exactly the same. This defensive line of the Dreadnoughts. That's Charlotte Platt just eating up these Falcons running backs in the backfield. Falcons really struggling to keep them out of their own backfield no chance for the running backs great individual effort so if it's not sarah jane it's charlotte platt and 
And I believe that will be the end of the first half. And because the Dreadnoughts deferred in that first half, well, let's wait and hear from our referee. Now, it might just be the turnover on downs. I haven't seen a signal for the second half yet, so I believe it's just the Dreadnoughts. We've started with the ball on their five-yard line. Here's that motion again. They will hand it. They've had success here. There's a good hit going in from number eight just to take out that lead blocker. Colette Wong coming in, making that hit, just to try and stop this end around that they've been having success with. Stephanie Wyant, again, as you're running back on that for the Dreadnoughts. So maybe a pickup of two yards for Wyant. Second down. Play action, Senna goes deep and over the head this time, trying to get the ball to Wyant. Better defence there from the Falcons. Keep trying to run that post pattern to keep this defence honest. Falcons managed to get a turnover on downs last time they were out. Yeah, and I was premature, thank you Mr Referee. Two minutes left in this first half. Dreadnoughts on top. The Falcons are playing slightly better football than they were earlier on in the half. Two minutes to go as this clock starts ticking. Senate goes to pass. Left-hand side. Oh, that's very close to an interception there. Emily Marsh right there couldn't pick it off one minute 52 left Senate not shy about going deep to try and pick up chunk yards Falcons are gonna have to be alert for that Again, dropping back, looks to her left this time. Nice pass. Oh, beautifully lofted ball from Senate. Again, she's trying to hit Stephanie Wyant and it hit her in the hands, but just not able to pull it in. Lucky for the Falcons on that one, because that would have gone for six, I think, with Stephanie Wyant down the sideline. Some great passing here from Senate. But the Falcons will get the ball back. with their own set of downs and not much time on the clock. Maybe a minute or so to go. Not seen much from the Falcons in terms of their own deep threat yet. So it's Faye Doherty now lining up at quarterback and she's dropping back. Tries to get that ball out and she does get a completion. Nice catch and run, breaks the first tackle. Just shy of midfield is Eilish Rolf with a nice catch and run. So they bring in Faye Doherty for Chloe Smith. Faye Doherty, the, the better throwing quarterback for the Falcons. It's going to be second down. That's six yards shy of that first down point they need to get to at midfield. Not much time left. So Doherty with two Falcons women, top of your screen, one at the bottom. She'll go to that right-hand side, same play. But this one's incomplete. Rolf just couldn't pull that one in. Exactly the same play back to back. And if uh, they can't 
beat it, then the Falcons will just keep running it, but they can't complete on that one. Third down. Falcons looking to try and get a score to pull themselves back into this game. Seems to have tightened up a little bit on that right-hand side of the line against Sarah Jane Brain. You know she's going to be coming. Whistles blow. Dreadnoughts will come over to the sideline, as will the Falcons. Falcons just trying to slow that clock down, speak to their offense. They're putting Macy Ray on uh, Sarah Jane Brain, or the Falcons, just to try and slow her down. She's been devastating so far today. Three sacks, two tackles in the backfield. It's only the first half. You can see her there, number 83. Playing great defense. Tried to slow her down on this drive, and they have got one completion. They need about seven yards to get to that midfield marker. But they also need to be aware that this clock is ticking. Two receivers to the top, one to the bottom. Over the middle again, and this time incomplete. Charlotte Platt, ominous. She dropped from a defensive line position to help out on the pass defense. No joy there for Faye Doherty. Fourth down now. Time running out for these Falcons to try and get back into this game in the first half. Empty set, Doherty back, good pass protection. But that one's picked. And it's a great pick by Megan Roberts. Right there in the middle of the field was Roberts to pick that one off and I think they're just dropping those defensive linemen into coverage unexpected and she's a tough woman to bring down but they get her down eventually flag on the field as well so we'll hear from our referee maybe an illegal block so on the return there was a block in the black from the Dreadnoughts, that will march them back. But again, they shut down this Falcons drive. So playing tough at both ends. Either getting the sack in the backfield or uh, getting those picks when they need to as well. So they will get the ball at the point of the interception, obviously minus the penalty yardage. We hope you're enjoying the coverage here of this third place playoff game. Just coming to the end of this first half, Dreadnoughts played really well on offense. There's a handoff this time. Oh, um, ducking and duking inside his runner, Kirsty Jeeves. Kirsty Geeves. Dreadnought's going to take a timeout to stop that clock. Senate wants more at the end of this first half. If you missed those earlier scores, it was uh, Peterborough that had the better of Portsmouth. They won that game out in a shootout 37-28. And in a more of a defensive battle, Edinburgh beat the Leicester 25 to 12. Those were the games that took place earlier today. And so the final later on, the Div 1 final, is going to be the Edinburgh Wolves 
against the Peterborough Royals. We look forward to that one. Dreadnoughts after their timeout coming back on the field. Will they try something deep with Sanet? She is going to drop back. This is going to be a little flare out. There's some room down that sideline as she's hustled out of bounds. Kirsty Geeves, target of choice as we come to the end of this first half. Across midfield, so they'll get an extra set of downs. Just some time for Senate to hurl a couple up into the end zone and see what she can get. They have been running those posts. They've also tried stuff down the sideline. One receiver top, one bottom. Senate back to pass, looks to her right. Going deep, nice arm, but it's just couldn't get the receiver free on that one. Trying to get the ball to Catherine Dale. 25, 24, 23. 25, 24, 23. She has a great arm set it. Rolls to her right, nice and calm. We expect something similar. Dale at the bottom, she looks that way again. She's going to go that way. And this one is caught. Can they get it down? And they do. So Catherine Dale with the catch on the deep slant. Senate right on the money again. Been impressed with her so far. Third down, very little time left on this one. About 15 yards out on this 70 yard field. And they've worked well with the dreadnoughts with not much time on the clock to get them into a position where they can have a chance at throwing that ball in the end zone and see what they can get. Already hit pay dirt twice. Wyant with the early score and then it was Curry running it in for the two scores for the dreadnoughts. But they want more. <laughs> Senna, low snap. They hand it off the mid up the middle. She squirts out the other end as Kirsty Geeves, but um, they're going to mark her down. And that will be the end of this first half. So, in this third place playoff, for Division One in the National Women's Football League. It is the Dreadnoughts 15 and the Falcons 0. And the Falcons really struggled on offense to get anything going. We've had three sacks and tackles in the backfield from Sarah Jane Brain, who's been dominant for the Dreadnoughts on defense. And Senate has been great on offense, running those end arounds. But your two scorers today were Wyant and Curry. So we'll take a quick break and we'll see you for the second half. See you in a bit.
Welcome back to the second half of the National Women's Football League Division One third place playoff. The Dreadnoughts deferred in the first half and they will get the ball to start and they are looking dominant so far with two scores. As it's a great run to open this drive. We've got Kirsty Jeeves. With a great run, but there is a flag down. Block in the back, though, so this one will be coming back. <laughs> so we first down again for the Dreadnoughts. Looking ominous, though, aren't they, with those runners? Two backs in the backfield. This time the Falcons do better. Macy Ray coming in there to make the tackle. Just getting some roster updates. So we think it's Ailey Curry in the number 30 shirt. So apologies to her because we've been calling her name Oh, that shirt differently as this one's going to fall incomplete. And we'll get that score updated for you as well. That score just needs to reflect the two safeties that were scored by the Dreadnoughts in that first half. So the score, Dreadnoughts 19, Falcons nothing. And the Dreadnoughts with the ball on third down now, handing off to Curry. She comes right-hand side. And still inbounds as the flag goes in. So Tatenda Chinzamba called on the face mask. If you're just joining us, Curry had a score in the first half for the Dreadnoughts, as did Wyant. And they've been dominant. As they go back to that ground game. Curry breaking off the right hand side, still fighting for those extra yards. Falcons have to make do with just standing her up and trying to stop her progress as another flag comes in. And the Dreadnoughts dominant on defense as well. Two safeties in that first half. The defensive line very strong for the Dreadnoughts. Just waiting for a call on this flag. <laughs> Referee's taking the time to get this right. What can the Falcons do to try and get back in this game? They did get their own turnover in the first half, or just the one. And it looks like they're going to need more turnovers in this second half if they can find a way back. Sorry. 
So hopefully you could hear the referee there. It was a face mask. But there was also a dead ball foul against the dreadnoughts. So the net difference there is they're going to play third down again. Flags on both teams. The dreadnoughts will retain the ball. Very pleased to join you here for these women's finals. Got that big game, the Div 1 final coming up later today and then premiership action from the National Women's Football League next weekend as well as the Dreadnoughts now in motion. And there's that handoff again. Left-hand side, loads of room. She's going to break it all the way to the end zone. Stephanie Wyant for a second score of the day. These Falcons defenders just have no answer for the slashing runs of Curry and Wyant. Just off that left-hand side, showing good speed. They're going to line up for a two-point try. 25-0 now, the Dreadnoughts in charge. Two backs in the backfield as they go for this two-pointer. Pitch, right-hand side. It's a trick play. She's looking to pass, but now she has to track back against the grain, and can they get her down? They can, so Stephanie Wyant, she just couldn't find the receiver open in the backfield. She had to track all the way back to her left-hand side. So the Falcons hold on the two-pointer. It was the pressure in the end from the Falcons' D-line that uh, forced Wyant to backtrack. So the Falcons concede another touchdown. That's three on the board for the Dreadnoughts. And the Falcons are in a big hole at the beginning of this second half. They have the ball and they need a concerted drive. Really finding it difficult to move the ball against this tough defensive line of the Dreadnoughts. And it was a great run from Stephanie Wyant off that left-hand side that gave the Dreadnoughts that third score. They're going to keep Faye Doherty in at quarterback. Empty set. They need to move the ball fast if they're going to have any chance here. Doherty drops back. Oh, that's just come out of her hand. Slips out, incomplete. She's trying to get the ball to Laura Stevens. But no joy on that one. Second down, 25 yards to go to get to that midfield point. It's on the replay there. Just looking on the screen here and it looked like it was Sarah Jane Brain coming in and putting that pressure on Doherty again on that first down. Empty set again, one receiver at to the top, two to the bottom. That offensive line has got to be strong. This time, Doherty will keep it herself. Left-hand side, still on her feet, going down the sideline. Good pace from Doherty, look at this. All the way. What a great run from Doherty to get the first score for these Falcons on the board. Well, can't get anything going from your running game. You can't get anything going in your passing attack. Give it to Doherty up the sideline. She does really well to get past that first attempted tackle. And then it's all her. Taking it all the way for six. So the Falcons on the board. We said they needed a quick score if they were going to try and get back into this. And Doherty provides.
Colette Wong at quarter mount. She's going to keep this herself, and she's going to run off the right-hand edge, and she's going to take one in. So Wong with the two-pointer, and the Falcons with life early on in this second half. Colette Wong converts. 25 to 8. Just a play action from Wong and then off to her right hand side. Some decent blocking to seal the edge. And in she goes. And the dreadnoughts will be shocked by that one. They've really contained everything up to that point. Took the great speed of Doherty who's still on the field there. You can see number 19, they're playing her both ways. She plays cornerback and quarterback. So hopefully she's had a breather because she's bottom of your screen there. But it's the Dreadnoughts back on offense. Motion, handoff. Oh, initially good defending from the Falcons, but Ronan manages to break free. Caitlin Sonka. On the end around, and we saw a lot of that in the first half. Effective little play for these dreadnoughts just to get them some yards on first down. Looked like Sonka was bottled up in the backfield there. It was Macy Ray that couldn't pull her down. Taking their time, this clock will keep running. Senate at that quarterback shotgun. This time they're going to try and get it to the left hand side. And there you go, there's your touchdown scorer coming in to make the tackle. Faye Doherty coming in from her cornerback position. So she goes out and scores, and then she comes in and makes a crucial tackle on second down to stop any more momentum. Nice play from number 19 in green. Sonnet. What can she do here on third? Shotgun, looks to her right, going deep. She has a great arm, oh, look at that wide open play. Wide receiver had beaten a defender's ball, was delivered brilliantly. Just couldn't focus enough to bring it in. Perfect pass route. Sonnet's been impressive today. She is really putting the ball on the money. She's been let down a couple of times by her receivers. But it's not going to stop her taking those shots. Fourth down, play action. She's going to go straight back to it. Oh, an incomplete again. Same play, same result. Sonka just not able to get that ball in. Better coverage that time. Emily Marsh in cover and just got her arms up enough to take away any vision that Sonka might have to pull that ball in. So a turnover on downs for the Falcons coming off that score. Some good play from Doherty both on offense on the score and on defense to get the ball back and we'll see whether she comes out as their quarterback. They have been rotating it a little between Chloe Smith and Faye Doherty. Doherty is the one with the points on the board. So, if the Falcons can mount a drive here, they can get themselves back into a position to compete for this game. It's Wong they bring out now, the two-point scorer. Colette Wong as the whistles blow. She took that from under the center and it looked like she wanted to pass, but the flag's coming early. Well, the Dreadnought's calling an early timeout in this second half. Maybe they want to think about the fact that Colette Wong has come in as quarterback. Maybe there's a scheme change.
After that timeout, then, the Falcons now. Colette Wong under centre. She's going to drop back to pass. She's immediately under pressure. She's ducking and diving. She does well to break free of the pocket and up the left-hand side. Colette Wong with a nice pickup. Charlotte Platt had to track back from a defensive line position to drag her down. So these quarterbacks having to scramble for these Falcons just to get something going. Colette Wong escaping one, two defenders and then off to the races. Platt showing some good speed to drag her down from behind. Second down for the Falcons. And this time they swap in Faye Doherty, so quarterbacks playing tag team. 11 in motion for the Falcons. Two targets at the top. Bobble, snap, Doherty off again, straight up the middle. Past three defenders and Doherty with a second huge run of the game. Wow. Faye Doherty's just taking it on her shoulders to bring the Falcons back into this game. Another 50 yard scamper for Doherty. Two touchdowns on the board for her. Colette Wong helped her out getting some yards on first down but it's another 40 yard scamper for Doherty and uh, these dreadnoughts are going to have to tighten up on that as the Falcons will go for the one points they will hand the ball but there's nothing there it's good defense so the score will remain 25 to the dreadnoughts 13 to the Falcons We have a game, 12 point game, so it's still a two score game. And a two score lead for these dreadnoughts. And they're gonna come back out on offense to try and calm things down, maybe get a score of their own. Start from their five yard line. And the offense will want to calm things down and keep Doherty off the field. It's time the Falcons with a three woman defensive line. Senate hands it, picking her way, breaks one tackle, and then a nice tackle comes in from Colette Wong. Slow to get up now, that runner. It's out of a hit from Wong on the sideline. And Sophie Hammonds may be a little winded after taking the full brunt of Wong's tackle. She looks to be okay though, she's still in the huddle. Second down. Falcons really playing hard now to try and get maybe a turnover of their own. Give Doherty and that offense another chance. Wong and Doherty really brought this team to life in this second half. Three women on the defensive line again. This time it's a reverse. And they're going to try and get past Doherty, but they can't. She's going to beat that blocker. And Doherty slows down Caitlin Sonka enough to get those Falcons players to rally. Clever little play from the Dreadnoughts. They notice that these Falcons defenders aggressively pursuing these runners. But they couldn't break that for the big gain that they might have wanted from that trick play. Falcons certainly have tightened up in this second half. Have given up that one score, but they've got two of their own. Third down, hand off again. Left hand side, and that's a nice tackle. Knifing in there is Emma Taylor. 
to bring down Sophie Hemmons. Taylor's now holding that right leg. Giving it a rub. Went down hard on that herself. Maybe a little calf strain or some cramp. She's massaging away as Emma to try and take that pain away. And I've been in that situation myself. I can tell you, it's not a pleasant feeling. So this game's come to life as the medics come on to deal with that cramp. It does look like cramp, doesn't it? Just giving it a stretch out. Trying to relieve some of that calf pain. Medics also on the field just to check on it. But the Falcons, with the running of Doherty, pulled themselves back into this game. Emma Taylor back on her feet. She just made a really nice play. To prevent Sonka from getting any more yards on that third down. And it'll bring up fourth now for the Dreadnoughts. So three women on that defensive line again. They've changed that since the first half. This time they're just going to shovel it back inside. Maybe pick up three. Trying to get it to their superstar running back. Lead Curry. But even she can't do anything from that position. So the Falcons will get the ball back. And what can the Dreadnoughts do to slow down the running of Faye Doherty? Typically what you do is kind of put a linebacker there to shadow her. Make sure that they have that extra defender there whose only job really is to spy that quarterback. When you're playing this seven-a-side football, the choices get limited as to who can play that position, but you would expect it to be one of those linebackers. It is Faye that takes the field. They've been swapping in at quarterback, have Leicester. But it's Doherty underneath the centre this time. Motion again, left to right. Doherty drop back to pass. And there she goes again, up the middle, using those legs. This time they have defenders there. And who else but Sarah Jane Brain, who's just holding back, takes a step back off that defensive line. So they make the adjustment for Doherty, and they do slow her down. But she still picks up yards. And they're going to swap in Colette Wong for that one-two punch attack now that they've got at quarterback. <laughs> Trying to find a way back, these Falcons are doing well so far in this second half. Under center again is Wong. And they're gonna blow the whistles for a timeout. It's the Dreadnoughts calling a timeout. And I guess they want to talk again about how they can shut down these runs from the quarterbacks of the Leicester Falcons. Falcons started off with Chloe Smith at quarterback. Then they moved to Faye Doherty, and that made a big difference. Doherty with two scores, 50-yard run and a 40-yard run. And then they've also been swapping in Colette Wong. So it creates challenges for a defense to have these different bodies coming in. And the DC there just wants to talk it over. Does this coaching staff from the Dreadnoughts? Head coach Callum Murdoch done a good job with these dreadnoughts but this time they're going to try to reverse and that's going absolutely nowhere there's been nothing that's got past sarah jane brain on that left hand side of the defense she's been devastating they can't get her blocked 
So the end around was Dolores Stevens. But Sarah Jane Brain just coming off that block and dropping her for a loss. The only thing that's worked for the Falcons so far has been these runs from the quarterbacks. Wong now drops back. She is going to get rid of this one, but it's her arm gets hit as she throws it, trying to get the ball to Stevens, but nothing doing. So the woes continue for the Falcons on this drive. So much pressure coming off that Dreadnought's line. Faye Doherty swaps in for the fourth down play. There she goes up the middle again, looking for space, right hand sides. Can they bring her down? Cuts back inside, and that's where all the help is. It's a good job by Charlotte Platt, who's made some really nice plays in the open field. And she took a good angle to force Doherty back inside, and that meant her team could rally to the ball. So, turnover on downs for the Falcons. With the Dreadnoughts making the adjustment to shut down these QB runs. They did a good job on that series doing just that. And the Falcons will have to think again about how they move the ball against this tough Dreadnoughts offense. That's if they get the chance. Dreadnoughts back with the ball. Still in charge, two scores ahead, 25-13 in this third place playoff from the National Women's Football League Division One. Come on, Dreadnoughts! Motion again. There's that end around play, looking for a gap. She finds it right hand side and cutting back inside. Colette Wong on the tackle. Sonka on the run. Just keep running the things that have got them here. Getting the ball into their athletes' hands. Some good blocking from that three-woman line. To set Sonka free. Second down, making progress. Motion again, Sonka. This time, they're going to give it again on the same play with different runner this time she cuts up the middle so that's stephanie wyant so using sonka using wyant and they get a they get a choice those runners to either cut it back up the middle if they see the whole opening or try and find the edge on the outside that time wyant finding the hole between those two guards This time, Senate will keep it herself. I should be stood up at that line of scrimmage. Maybe got half a yard before she was stood up that time by Becky Day. No gain, fourth down. Close, about six yards out. Maybe try that end around again. It's been working for them. They have talented runners to this Dreadnoughts team. Curry's been great, Wyant's been great. Shotgun pass, Senate goes back and looks for that deep pass again, but that's well defended. Colette Wong gets that left arm up. She looks a little bit gimpy getting up there, sacrificing her body to bat that one down. Again, Senate right on the money with the pass. But nothing to show for it. As Wong with a really nice athletic play from that safety position. 
Emily Marsh was back there as well on coverage for the Falcons. Callum Murdoch, the head coach for this Dreadnought side, done a really nice job with this team this year, getting them all the way to this third place playoff game. And I'm sure they would have liked to have been in the final, and it was close. Just lost out to Peterborough 37 28. They put a lot of scores on the board, did the Dreadnoughts, and they're ahead in this one. Falcons, Doherty back on the field. Still a two score gap between these two teams. Doherty with the play action and lofts one up, but trying to get Wong down that right hand sideline. Sorry, not Wong, trying to get the ball to Laura Stevens, a wide receiver for the Falcons, but no joy. Second down. Good chunk of the second half left here. All to play for. If the Falcons get another score, they'll be right back in it. But they've got to get through this tough Dreadnought's defence and they've got to get past Sarah Jane Brain before they get a chance to do that. Doherty back, throws into a pile of players there. No chance for that one to be complete. Megan Thomas right there to bat that one down. Brings up third. Haven't been able to make a yard let, so still backed up on their five yard line. A lot of yards to go for that first down. Trying to get the ball to Laura Stevens, but where they've been effective, these Falcons, is Doherty and Wong taking to their legs. I'm going to swap in Alicia Henderson into that running back position now. And it will be Doherty under the centre. Henderson to her left. They're going to hand it up the middle and Sarah Jane Brain not fooled on that one. She locates Catriona Fryer quickly and drags her down. She must have eight or nine tackles now, Sarah Jane. She's been excellent today. Four sacks, tackles in the backfield. Everything they've tried to run against her, she's been equal to. Doherty again. Hand off again. And that's a nice tackle from the linebacker position. Megan Thomas coming in. So they're just trying different things of the Falcons. Got four potential players all around the ball that could potentially take it. Just looking for those misdirection plays to try and get something moving. But the Dreadnoughts defend it well, despite the adjustment they need to make. And they get the ball back. And they'll take over from their five yard line. Senate still in at quarterback. Curry in the backfield with her. Drops back to pass. Wants to get one of those deep passes, but she's going to be picked. It's Doherty, and she can run. Can they make the tackle? No. Doherty with a pick six to the end zone. Curry hit her, but only after she got to the end zone. What a fantastic play by Doherty. She is the sole scorer of all the Falcons' points so far today and she's scored two on offense and now one touchdown on defense and with a pick six a 35 yard run back she's certainly 
earn a place in this team and earn a place in this third place playoff final. What a fantastic play. Now they're going to go for two here, are the Falcons. Score now 25 Dreadnoughts, Falcons 19. Two points will pull them within three. Doherty. They're going to go right hand side. It's not Doherty, it's Chloe Smith rolling out to her right hand side to convert for two. So Doherty takes it in. for the touchdown and the Falcons convert on the two-pointer and wow, this game has just turned around. Faye Doherty just took it on her shoulders and has scored three touchdowns, two on offense, one on defense. And Sennett, who's been really accurate so far today, just, just a little error and Doherty punishes her on that pick six. And we have a game. Could go any way now. There she is, the hero for the Falcons, number 19. You can see her right there at the bottom of your screen. Just in her cornerback position. She's played great defense. She's been making tackles. She's also been leading that offense from her quarterback position. So here come the Dreadnoughts. Two backs in the backfield. They want to calm everything down. They've been leading all the way through this game. They've been dominant, but the Falcons have found a way back to within one score. Maybe Curry can calm them down right hand side. And she blasts one up that sideline into Falcons territory is Eileen Curry. <laughs> and that's exactly what these dreadnoughts needed. Great power, good speed. It was only the saving tackle from Alicia Henderson that stopped the touchdown. First down, dreadnoughts. Wanting to stamp themselves on this game. Curry again, left hand side. Ripping through that hole, she picks up six. A tired Faye Doherty in on the tackle. Who can blame her for <laughs> taking a little while to get up? Becky Day also in on that tackle to bring Curry down. So the Falcons want to have a little breather. Can't blame them. I'm sure Faye Doherty will appreciate that timeout. She must have racked up over 100 yards, both offense and defense, running these balls in for the touchdowns. Dreadnought's going straight back to Curry when they need to. And uh, we thought, so apologies, we thought she was in a different shirt number earlier on in the game, but we got that corrected. It is Curry in number 30. So thanks to those of you that pointed that out. There she is. The one woman wonder for the Falcons. All the points down to her. But the Dreadnoughts are trying to stamp their authority on this game. But that's a nice play from Alicia Henderson. And the Falcons fired up on that sideline. They can smell that momentum shift. That's a loss of one on the run. And they call another timeout to the Falcons. Back to backs just to get this clock stopped because they want a chance to have some time left to pull back into this game.
But the Dreadnoughts still have the ball and they still have the lead as they try and run this clock down. And Curry ominous in that backfield. Can the Falcons stop her here? Well, it's going to be Senate that keeps it around the right-hand side. She's going to poke the ball forward for an additional yard as she finds the sideline. We're here at the Cheshire County Sports Club. The entrance is free. You can see fans on the sideline there. And if you are in that area, do come down for the 4 o'clock kickoff. Looks like we might just be a little bit late with that kickoff due to the duration of this game, but we'll get you an update on that. We're looking forward to Edinburgh versus Peterborough, but this has been a great game in its own right. Dreadnoughts trying to hold on to victory. They have the ball, fourth down. They're going to hand off on that reverse. It's Sonka coming back to her left-hand side, trying to find some space, and guess who's there? Doherty makes the tackle, staying at home in her cornerback position. So she does well not to be fooled on the reverse. Doherty again making the play. And the Falcons will take over. Now, do they have enough time? They only need four points, but they're going to have to get it in the end zone. But they have a chance for the win. Now, the Dreadnoughts made the adjustment, didn't they, to, to those quarterback runs. It was Colette Wong trying to get the ball up in the middle, but it's Doherty that's been the danger woman. They did adjust. It's Doherty that's come on. Here's the blitz up the middle. Oh, and she tries to get rid of that ball. See, well, the penalty flag has gone down, and I think they're probably going to call that intentional grounding. Because Sarah Jane Brain was hanging off Doherty there, would have had the sack had she not offloaded that ball. <laughs> I guess if you go got Sarah Jane bearing down on her. You just want to get rid of it. Wow, so it's a safety for the Dreadnoughts. So the chances for the Falcons slowly dwindling away as it's an extra two points for the Dreadnoughts. 27, Falcons 21. That's the third safety by this defense. Two in the first half, one in the second half. On that intentional grounding call. And of course the Dreadnoughts will get the ball back. So what looked like hope for the Falcons quickly snuffed out by the superstar Sarah Jane Brain, who's been magnificent today. to that game between Edinburgh and Peterborough coming up. Two winners from earlier today. And if it's anything like this one, it will be an exciting one again. Edinburgh won earlier today, 25-12, beating Leicester. And Peterborough won out 37-28, beating Portsmouth. And they'll be on the field at the conclusion of this game. And that is the conclusion of this game. So congratulations to the Portsmouth Dreadnoughts, who are the third-placed team in the Division One third-place playoff in the National Women's Football League. All Division One games today. And they played great. That scores from Wyant, from Curry. Another one from Wyant, as, as well as great play from their defense, scoring three safeties to rack up that 27-21 score line. So congratulations to them. But the Falcons gave them a bit of a scare towards the end, using the legs of Faye Doherty at quarterback. 
who racked up all the points for the Falcons today. Two touchdowns from a quarterback position and a pick six, no less. So it's been a really exciting game of American football in this seven versus seven format. Thank you to all of you that uh, kept us up to date with the scores down there at Cheshire County Sports Club, down there on the field. And there's number 62, where I used to coach Tatanda Chinzamba. You can see there the Falcons player, I used to play for XNTU player. Played on our men's squad, now found a place with the Leicester Falcons in this great women's division. And there's one of their heroes today. Look at that, number 19. What a game she had to play Doctor. Two. But it's the dreadnoughts that come out the winners. Really impressed today by the running of Eileen Curry, by the play of their quarterback. Iona Sennett. And of course, Stephanie Wyant with a touchdown as well. But the real player of the game for me on the dreadnought, Sarah Jane Brain. What a dominant performance on the defensive line from her. So we hope you've enjoyed this third place playoff. We'll be back in a very short amount of time, and we're going to bring you the final between the Edinburgh Wolves and the Peterborough Royals. Coming right up on Onside Production on behalf of Baffa. And we'll see you in just a few minutes.